Hey everybody, welcome back inside the mind of Matt. And you remember in one of my episodes where I shrunk my printer? If you didn't see that video, it's back here. It'll make a little bit more sense, but I put an E3D V6 on my printer and it shrunk my print area. Well, I'm going to fix it. Plus, I discovered something that I did wrong during my build that also reduced my build plate and I'm going to show you. Want to see? Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Alright, so in the previous video, like I discussed, I put the uh, E3D V6 official Bowden attached uh, upgrade to my printer. I printed this out um, in PLA. Well, one of the things that I have had a problem with is this fan uh, shroud is melted. I'll show you here because I'm going to dismantle this. Also, um, just inside this mount here there just is a lot of slop and this thing goes slinging around and I've just noticed uh, some artifacts so I had printed this out previously it is in PTG and I'm going to go back to my original uh, bench round and that's what I'm going to be doing. But I said something about uh, put one of the things I did wrong in my install. I'm going to show that to you now. Uh, somebody pointed it out in a picture on the Facebook group. And I looked at my printer and I was guilty. And it actually is a simple little switching of the screw. You see? Right here. These screws, now these tabs here, if you're using the stock ones, are going to be black. This is my version that I printed out. But uh, if you have your the screw going in, it actually will hit right there. But by switching it, it allows to go all the way up there. So after I switched that, I really haven't printed with it. I wanted to do this mount swap and change everything around and figure out what's going on inside of my nozzle. So that's what I'm going to finish doing. So I'm going to get set up and we're going to do it. Stay tuned. Say goodbye to that mount. Say hello to this one. So forgive me, I got a couple things working against me here. I'm working in a kind of a tight space here. Um, this thing's bolted down, so there's not much I could do other than bolt it down. And I'm just not going to work on it like that. So if the camera angle's a little off, I apologize. But this is the uh, best I could do with the, the room that I'm given. So anyways, so I'm going to dismantle this guy and uh, put this other mount on and um, re-level everything and maybe replace my nozzle get this thing working again not that it's not working except for I got something clogged in my nozzle but anyways I digress here we go So I wanted to give you an up close, this is what happened to my fan nozzle. What happened is my thermistor came out of my hot end and it went rampant as far as its temperature. I didn't catch it. 
I didn't know how hot it got that is, so, but that was the results. PLA wasn't the greatest thing to have that close to the nozzle. All right, back to it. So I'm having a problem right now where this, uh, my belt holder mounts to the back of this. It's creating a pinch on my belt. So I'm going to take a little bit of double face tape and stick that right to the mount. Just a hack I just came up with. So off screen I messed around with my nozzle a little bit and got it all nice and cleaned out. Used a bolt torch. Worked pretty good. All right, so that's the uh, hardware side of it. Um, it should gain me my extra space. And that's what this mount looks like. Now it's been a while since I printed this. I am gonna look in my files and I will try to put the link to the Thingiverse uh, link in the description on this might take me a little bit to find it but I will but anyways now I have to dive into the firmware and change the settings that I changed before so that it gives me all my bed back so I'm gonna do that I don't think I'm gonna do it on camera I did it in one of the other videos you can see it There'll be a, a link for it that pops up right now um, so it's a little bit involved because I've got to tether it and shut down the octoprint and get in there and tweak some things and test it and tweak it and test it. So just to make sure, actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the default settings and uh, go from there. So as soon as I get that done, I'll come back. I'll re-level. Uh, I don't have to re-level my bed. I just have to set my nozzle height. We'll try to print something. There it is. V6, E3D V6 mounted on an A net twice. All right, so I think I'm back on track. I uh, got the new mount on and I got the firmware fixed so it knows 
where all of my bed is and I'm capable of reaching all of those points. Um, so don't forget, change these and uh, if you do and it increases the bed size and you like that, then make sure that you hit the like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe also, set that notification so you know when my next 3D printing related video is coming out. There's some other stuff I'm doing, but right now it's 3D printing. So, keep coming back. Thanks again for stopping inside the Mind of Matt.